Hi dear students, welcome to MN Maths and in this video I am solving the question number 4 of my exercise 0 0.1 and I am uh, uh, follow, follow the book uh, Howard and Onton, uh, Calculus Howard and Onton 10th edition. So uh, the question number 4 of my exercise 0 0.1 is comparison of natural domain of f of x and g of x. Uh, sometimes uh, the examiner give you a to function and uh, ask you to compare the natural domain of these two functions so uh, the question number four the part number one is uh, the f of x f of x is equals to x square plus x divided by x plus one and g of x is equals to x so we have to the natural domain of these two functions separately and then compare compare them so uh, first we have to solve we are solving the f of x so dear students i already explained in my previous lectures whenever the fraction term comes in our function then the denominator term uh, should be non zero so uh, it uh, if if the denominator term becomes a zero then our function is undefined so uh, we cannot allow our function undefined we cannot give the such a inputs from set of real numbers that becomes our function on on this value the, our uh, function becomes undefined so uh, here whenever I put uh, x is equals to minus 1 in this f of x then our denominator should be 0 so that's why uh, we cannot allow uh, the minus 1 value in f of x so these this the domain of f of x is all set of real number except 1 we say that uh, f of x is all set of real number except minus 1 we can also write it x is not is equals to minus 1 and for all x belongs to set of real number so that is our natural domain of f of x and then whenever we find the natural domain of g of x natural domain of g of x is so g of x is just equals to x so we can put any number uh, in the place of x and it gives us our uh, same number uh, as an output but in this question we are just finding domain of g of x so that's why we can uh, put there is not uh, any restrictions imposed on uh, this g of x function so uh, in, in in that case in that case g of x is equal to x the domain is all set of real number we can just say as uh, domain of f of x is all set of real numbers all set of real numbers so uh, when the, uh, we compare uh, these two domains of different two different functions we say that in this case our the value x is equals to minus 1 is not allowed but in this case the value uh, the the domain of g of x uh, we say that it is included all the set of real numbers so that is a comparison of two uh, to, uh, to domains of two different functions so whenever we have uh, the second part of this question second part of this question is uh, the f of x is equals to f of x is equals to x square root x plus square root x divided by x plus 1 and g of x is equals to square root x so uh, in this case we have a two, two different functions f of x and g of x and we have to find the domain and then compare compare this domain with each other so uh, in, in f of x when we take f of x we say that it is a fraction term and also included the 
scale term the radical sign so there are two restrictions at the same time the first is we cannot allow that input that make our denominator become zero and also we cannot allow that input that makes the term under the radical sign is imaginary is complex so there is two restrictions in this question first is i repeat it first the denominator sh term should be non zero we cannot allow a num such a number that make our denominator equal to zero and also at the same time we have to care about we cannot allow any input value from set of real number that make the term negative under the radical sign so so the to understand these two restrictions now we have to find now we have to find the domain of f of x so the domain of f of x whenever we put here zero we put here zero then uh, zero is uh, we can allow the zero because uh, on a zero it does not give us imaginary number so uh, here zero when we would uh, zero uh, in the place of x in our f of x then it give us uh, a, a not a, not a complex number not uh, be uh, undefined so that's why zero is allowable input and whenever we put one in the place of x then here is one here is one here is one square root of one is equals to one so one plus one two and here is also one one plus one two over two and uh, after cancellation of two and two it uh, it give us a well well defined uh, output so it the, the domain of f of x is all real number greater than equals to zero because whenever we put a minus one we cannot allow minus one here because for minus one our term under radical sign becomes becomes a, a complex number and also whenever we put minus one here it should be a, it the denominator becomes a zero so that's why it's also give us undefined answer so minus one is not allowable and whenever we put here minus two so min for minus two it's also be a complex number be imaginary part we uh, so that's why we also not we cannot the negative two so up to so on we cannot allow the negative terms in the place of x so that's why the domain of f of x domain of f of x is a whole set of real numbers greater than equals to is set of all x is greater than equals to zero so all set of real numbers is greater than equals to zero zero is also included in our domain we can write it in a such a way from zero to positive infinite and uh, minus minus uh, negative numbers are not allowed in our domain so whenever we uh, solve this uh, g of x domain of g of x so domain of g of x is so here there's not uh, such a number uh, it's not a fraction term just uh, be uh, included a uh, radical sign so uh, we know whenever the radical sign comes in our function we just have to we have to care about uh, we cannot allow the negative number in the place uh, uh, of under that and on and, and, and the place of the term under the radical sign because whenever the negative negative sign comes in our term uh, in our radical sign it becomes a complex number so the domain of this is also be also be same domain uh, like uh, the domain of f of x so it's also all set of is set of all x is greater than equals to zero we can also zero we can write here so domain of f of x and g of x is equals 